Let's learn how to animate 3D models in PowerPoint. I have been anxiously waiting for the ability to do this for over a year now, so I'm super excited to finally show you how. Because this is so, so new, as of today, it's only available through the Office Insider program, which you can sign up for at the link below. Also, to use 3D model animations, you need to have PowerPoint 365, the subscription version, or get a free trial of it so you can test this all out. So let's dive in. Let me start off by showing you the basic version with just the jumping dog, and then we'll add the fence in there as well for some extra spice. To start, we first go up to insert and then 3D models and then online sources. Then we type in dog here and we can choose different ones. I chose this German Shepherd here, which I like because it's got its little tongue sticking out, although the other ones are cute as well. Now we just insert it onto the slide. And then we go up to the animations tab like usual. And here we have several cool new 3D model animation options to choose from. I'm going to select the jump. And you can modify it here under effect options in any direction you like, as well as change the intensity level, which is the height of the jump in this case. In the intro video, I used these three options at the highest intensity level. I also chose the view center option here instead of object center. And let's just rotate this down a little so you can see more of the dog's face there. And here is a sample of what it looks like. Already super, super cool. I love how it kind of squishes down as it's going up and landing to give it that extra bit of realism. You can also use other animation effects here. For the turn, as an example, I used the turn table animation, which you can also use to make a continuous rotation of a model, like it's on a display, which I know many people have been dying for since it can be used in really cool effects like rotating 3D logos. You can also choose a variety of directions here too. The other good thing about the turntable is that kind of like in the spin animation for 2D objects, you can customize the angle of rotation as well. And that's what I did here with the dog barking. I gave it just three degrees of a backward spin with an auto reverse to give it just that little tilt. So that's a quick overview of 3D animations in general, and especially that jump that I used in the intro. To spice it up even more, now let's add the fence to it. The fence is actually kind of an illusion. The effect is made of three layers. You have first the background layer that has the fence and sky. You also have the dog, of course, but then you have another layer that's just the fence in front of that. So the idea here is that once the dog jumps, that front fence layer goes down with a white exit animation so that when the dog lands, the front fence isn't there anymore. So all you see is the dog in front of our original image. So it looks like it's in front of the fence. Conversely, when the dog jumps back behind the fence, that front fence layer wipes up while the dog is in the air. So it looks like it's behind the fence when it finally lands. So here's how to do it from scratch. These objects, by the way, are included in my free download file so you can get started more easily. And as usual, the full animation sequence is in my slide pack, both of which are linked to in the description. Let's take our photo here of the fence and sky, and we just stretch it to fill the slide. Now we get our dog model from earlier and plop it in here. Make sure it's fully below the fence. 
Now let's duplicate this image. And because this fence is not even across the top, it's kind of jagged, I'm going to use the background removal feature to isolate it. Go to Format, Remove Background, and then use the plus and minus dots here to cut out the sky, but keep the fence and ground under it. Perfect. Now let's line it up so it's exactly on top of the original image. Good. The dog should be hidden at this point. Now that we're done with the graphics here in the layering, let's start with the animations. So let's add that jump to our dog here by clicking and dragging here so that we can select that dog even though it's behind the fence. And now go to the animations tab and let's give it a jump and turn. Go to effect options, make it view center and then effect options again, make it down, and then finally make it strong. Excellent, so now we have the basic jump happening and we just need to make that fence disappear. So open up the animation pane so that we can see what we're doing here. Make this start with previous and then you can keep the duration. Now select the fence so that we can make it look like it's jumping over it. It looks like that whole thing is selected, but it's that front layer here that I have. Undo that, Control Z. Let's add a wipe exit animation here so that the fence can go down just as the dog is in the air. Under effect options, make that start from the top so it's going down. Make it start with previous as well. Make the duration 0.25 seconds. And then move the delay of this over to about the middle of the animation here. So since this jump here is two seconds, make this start at one second. So it's about in the middle there. In this case, exactly in the middle. So let's see what that looks like. And that's your basic jump right there. Let's make the back jump now as well using the same process. So select the dog again, go to add animation, choose jump and turn. And we do basically the opposite of what we did before. So go to view center still then go to up instead of down and then go to strong again. Let's make this start after previous and then give it a delay of maybe half a second. Now we do the same thing to the fence or the opposite. So give that a wipe entrance animation add animation, and then wipe. It's already starting from the bottom, so we're good there. Make it start with previous. Make the duration 0.25, and then move this again approximately to the middle there, just like that. And let's see what it looks like. Perfect. Finally, for that last bit of realism, we can add the shadow that you saw in the intro video. So the shadow comes in when the dog lands and then becomes smaller and disappears when the dog leaves. And the shadow is simply an oval that is black and transparent. So let me show you that here. Go to insert here and then just draw in an oval, kind of like that. Make it a little bit bigger than what you want. And I'm just gonna temporarily move the fence so that we can see where the dog is. Put it approximately here and then turn it kind of like that. Make that black and then take out the outline. Now go to Shape Styles. 
and then under fill, make that about 50% transparent. And then for the final piece of it, go to this pentagon here, effects, and then give it some soft edges so it looks more like a shadow there. Let's go for about 25 point and make that a little bit bigger. Good. Okay, so let's get out of here. And let's go to the animations tab. And then we simply add a zoom entrance effect when the dog comes in. So if we go here and then you do zoom. And then the, the easy thing is that you can actually make this start exactly with the fence. So drag it here and then go make it start with previous. And then say add animation and then give it a zoom out. Make that also start with previous, in this case with the fence. And for this exit animation, actually move it one step down. I found that it actually looks better by making it start a tiny bit earlier than, in, than exactly in the middle there. So let's move this fence back on top of here. It's pretty easy to do, just kind of align that. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Very, very nice. Well, congratulations, you now know how to work with 3D animations. And feel free, of course, to play around with combining 3D animations and 2D animations. For example, when I did this alien spaceship here at the end, I combined a fly-in animation, which is a 2D animation, with a turn table animation here to get that kind of spinning and coming in effect. Here's what it looks like. Well, I hope this was a useful overview of 3D PowerPoint animations. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video and want to see others. And of course, check out my other videos as well. Lots of really great stuff on my channel. Thanks again and see you for my next one.